Happy Tuesday. Tuesday! How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so excited to be here. It is Gorgina outside, except we're possibly going to have tornadoes later. Yeah, I mean, it is right now. Yeah. But the wind is starting to pick up. How is the weather where you all are at? Yes. So excited for today. It is officially April now. Uh, first of all, did anyone get got for April Fool's? Uh, no, Tanner got got. I know Tanner got got. Tanner got got by Blake. I was going to come in with a full sleeve tattoo and trick you guys, but <laughs> I knew you'd be on to me, so that one failed. That one failed. I always want to do one. Like, I have good high hopes. And right. Then, also, are we, like, way off center? Uh, I think so, but it's okay. It's okay. We won't be here the whole time. No. So, <coughs> anyways, um, welcome if you're new here. Hi, if you're a regular. Um, hopefully, you guys have had a good week so far. Yes. I mean, it's only Tuesday, but it's been a good week over here it has been yeah. and it is it's been beautiful I'm just not mm -hmm. ready for the cold weather like Easter weekend was gorge yes it was so pretty outside mm -hmm. we said we were outside the whole time I had little Georgia in she was sitting on our little kid trampoline with a hat on sunscreen and an umbrella over her because she is a little ginger baby oh my I was goodness like, I will not Stop. burn that fragile skin so anyway. no but it was beautiful we, we were outside like most of the time so oh. anyways um there's a lot of people here with us today I want to say well there's like 60 it's, no we're we're dropping down to It'll pick back up here in a minute. That's normally how it does. 130. Yep. 130. I had a refresh. Um, I hope you guys, first of all, I hope you guys had, how did how did you all enjoy National Craft Month? Let's it was start a, by that. Last month was crazy. It was a little cray cray, but yeah. we had a blast. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but we had an absolute blast. Craft Month is just always on another level. Like, we always go hard. We have so much Planned. Yes. Outside of Christmas is craft month. Like that's our biggest, most exciting month. So if you guys missed the month of March, if you were busy, there's plenty of videos for you to go back and watch like crafts we did. We had mm -hmm. boot camp last month. That's still going to stay on the channel. So lots of good fun stuff. Plus we were giving away craft hack handbooks. And we announced we the were. Uh, design for digital creative. design for creatives, I which we are still in pre-sale with that. If you have not jumped in on that deal, y'all, now mm -hmm. is the time to do it. Yep. It is pinned at the top. Um, digital design for creatives, you all can jump in. What we are going to be doing is in that course, we are going to be teaching you how to truly get the most out of Canva mm -hmm. and how you can use Canva alongside your Cricut. Because we all know that design space can sometimes, I mean, I, I okay, can, let me just start by saying, I feel like Cricut is having some growing pains right now. Mm -hmm. I think that we are having growing pains and it is only, I think that it's, there's there's nowhere to go but up from here. Yeah. I feel like we are just going through some growing pains. However, having that course, that digital design for creatives where we teach you Canva and the relationship between Canva and your Cricut gives you an option right. to design in while Cricut is going through their growing pains. And yeah. not only that, it is, a course that is going to help you um it's just uh, we just use canva for so much of our lives not just crafting right right you wouldn't believe even how much we use it in our business and so inside the course we are going to be having a little area for sublimation uh -huh. we're going to have a branding like a bonus course in there so for our craft sellers and then we're going to go over just like the basics if you're like i've never even been in canva i've never opened it we're going to actually go over like all of the functions, where it's at. So we're gonna really break it down. So you're starting from the bottom and then you're gonna work your way into creating your own projects. And we even have assignments that are gonna be going along with it, uh -huh. which is different than anything else we've ever done. So And they're gonna be set up different, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to get up a really good setup so you guys it's can gonna be really, good. yeah, I'm excited. I'm so, so excited. I, first of all, I'm excited. Um, myself yeah like i'm excited myself yeah but i'm so excited for you guys absolutely yeah me too and canva is just i've been really falling in love with canva like i'm trying to i've been learning all the things y'all i'm trying to bring bring it i want y'all to learn every single thing there is to know so yep um, there's going to be 16 plus videos in that course it is a pre-sale that will launch on june 4th 
So right now you can get into Canva, use the free version. We get lots of questions. Do I need free? Do I need access? Don't purchase the pro version until you decide that's what you want to do. Right. You can get in there and play around for free right now. You can go canva.com, get in there and play around, see if this is something you want to do. Mm -hmm. If you're like, I could really use some help in here, the course is for you. Yep. Even if you know the basics and you're like, I want to level up, this course is for you. So yep. but it's for everybody, our it sellers, is. our beginners, and even our advanced crafters. Absolutely. So, I love it. Now today, what we're going to be doing, we are going to be fully in design space today, and this project is truly for everyone. Yes. There are so many parts of design space that I feel like our beginners are going to number one learn, mm -hmm. but our advanced people, maybe it'll be a refresher for you guys. Yes. So I think today's project is going to be an absolutely great one. I can already tell you there are so many functions we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. um, you all are going to be obsessed with it. Yeah, I love it. And I think sometimes these basic projects surprise us uh -huh. like on all of the things and tools that we use in design space yep. so it's going to be cool because we're using like the distribute we can use the distribute here yep. we're using sketch fonts cardstock scoring <coughs> covering it all lauren's getting excited i am <laughs> choking on my own spit <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, but oh, anyways, I guess we, I mean, we can start. Let's we do can it. get right into Let's it. Let's yeah. do it. Love it. How are you guys doing today? It feels so good to be back in the front of the camera teaching you guys how to make this absolutely stunning card. Let's go overhead so we can show them. I mean, I think it's stinking adorable. I think it's so cute. I love it. It's got the alphabet, but it's just like, hey. Hi, just hi. like a little, hi, nice to meet, like wanted to pop in and say hi. I mean, it's just so cute. I, I love, love this. It. So the supplies that you are going to need for this, of course, our base is the amazing Ashley Falco Celebration Warehouse paper. We do have three different colors today. And I think I might do a switcheroo. And I think I'm going to do pink as the base oh, and yellow cute. as the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do have three different colors. Um, we have our white, yellow, and pink. I mean, look how springy those are. I just love them. Those colors are amazing. They are. So we have, you'll only need three sheets of cardstock. If you use three different colors, you all don't even have to use three different colors. Like we have cut the high out of this pink cardstock. You all wouldn't have to do that if you don't want to. If you want to just go in and color it, you can do that if you only want to use two colors of cardstock. So that's just an option for you guys. But we start out with our base, three colors of cardstock. Um, we are going to be using a scoring stylus. Now, we always get the question, um, Lauren, Alicia, Tanner, whatever, do you like the scoring stylus over the scoring wheel? So for those that don't know, a scoring wheel is what we call an adaptive tool that can only be used in your maker machine. However, we tend to always go for the scoring stylus just because it fits in clamp A and we don't have to change out that scoring wheel from clamp B when it's time to cut with our fine point blade. So we normally stick with a scoring stylus. It's cheaper, it's faster, it's just, I feel like it's easier. Mm -hmm. Just my opinion. Now, there may be some materials where you need a scoring wheel if you have a Maker or a Maker 3 that's a little thicker, that you need a little bit more pressure on that. Then in that instance, we will put in the scoring wheel, but other, other than that, we always use the scoring stylus. Now, the other thing that you're going to be needing is some type of pen. Now, we are using the, a Cricut pen today. This is a Cricut gel pen in, it should say the color. Turquoise. I love it. Turquoise. That color pops so well with these colors. It it's does. It's very complimentary. It really, really does. Um, we are also using some foam squares. That's just to give this front some dimension with the card and um, reverse tweezers. And then we have both the, AT, the Scotch ATG gun and the Zig two-way pen. Y'all, you can use either of these. Barely There Arc has a really good paper, um, has some really good glue. What's the kind? Uh, super tight. Sh super tight that mm. Ashley brought us is great. Any kind of double-sided adhesive. Now, the ATG gun is not 
let's let's be transparent here. I linked a different one. I'll just let you guys. We <laughs> linked a different one because we can't find these. Yeah, someone Literally. did comment in the chat just a second ago that they saw those on Amazon right now that they were available, but like never, they normally aren't. If they are available <laughs> on Amazon right now, I would skedaddle over to Amazon and I would get one. Yes. Yeah, That's just my up. opinion. If you are a paper crafter, you can't go wrong with these. Now there are some other, what we, they, they, they're called tape runners. So you can get the disposable tape runners. I'm pretty sure that's probably the one that you've linked down below. It's, it's like, it's honestly kind of like that, Lauren, but it's like a miniature version of it. And it's a random brand. Okay, so we had um, a friend say, Carrie said, my stylus always pops up in my Cricut. It has been like that since I opened the box, Carrie. That is not normal. If it has been that way since you've opened the box, you need to call Cricut support because they should replace that for you. It should not pop up, especially if it is all the way in clamp B and it is clamped down, it should not pop up like that. That is definitely something that you need to get in touch with Cricut about um, because they actually are really good about, we've had that happen before mm -hmm. on a machine that was new um, and they were a, they sent us a new one. So, or they can send you a new piece. Like there's, there's things that they can do. If that is happening to you, definitely make sure you call Cricut Support, okay? So, um, one, let's see, the gel pens are amazing, but I would like to be able to purchase the colors I want because some get used. So Dorothy asked about gel pens, purchasing colors that she wanted. One thing that lets you guys in on, you don't have to use Cricut pens. It does not, mm -hmm. I don't, it doesn't void their warranty if you don't use Cricut pens or does it? Don't quote me on that. And, and let, just, the rule is, unless the pen breaks the machine, you can technically use outside items like Nikapa mats or non right. brand pins. Um, another one that we really like is like the Crayola markers. Mm -hmm. The Crayola fine tip markers fit so well in your um, clamp B. So you don't have to use, you don't have to use Cricut brand. You can use an off brand. Just make sure it fits in there and fits nice and snug, okay? Don't force the pin in there because if you force one in there, you take a chance of breaking it. So just find one that fits. There are plenty out there. Um, that's my suggestion because Cricut, they are, they are kind of expensive. Yeah. Another thing about storing your Cricut pins, and I feel like I showed people on a, we showed people yes. on a live not too long ago. Yeah. If you're storing Cricut pins, especially Cricut gel pins, store them with the cap facing down. You can still see the color on the top. And this was one of those things, and I was talking to Alicia earlier. I'm gonna give Cricut their jewels and their crown where they are deserved. Absolutely, we love them. This is one that I don't feel like we really think about, but having the color of mm -hmm. the pen on the top, that way you can store them upside down and still know what color. That way the gel stays or the, the ink stays at the bottom of your pen is, it's great. Very I love helpful, it. Yeah. Very, very helpful. Because we always store it, and we'll go over to this camera. You can even store it right here, but make sure you store it with the cap facing down, okay? So, with all of that being said, let's start designing our card. We'll go ahead and hop over into Design Space. Um, first of all, before we get started, we are going to go ahead and get, actually there's only two, two files or two fonts that we need today. Um, and the fonts that we need, this one is going to be typeset right here. And then, so let's go over here to our website. Also, <clears throat> I'm just going to let you guys in on a little secret. Oh, I, I, already, know it. I already know what you're going to say. Y'all, the files coming out in the next few months are <laughs> June. <laughs> Especially June. June. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. All I can say is wow. Yeah, y'all ain't ready. They're so good. You are not ready. Absolutely not ready. So we're gonna go over to our fonts because all we're gonna need today are fonts. 
Plus, or one other thing I want to say, for those of you who are maybe creeping in the background, listen, I love a good creeper. I'm a creeper. Yeah. I creep on videos all the time, mm -hmm. but will never comment. You will never see me commenting on someone else's video. But if you are interested, we are offering our dollar deal right now where you can join our membership. You can do like a trial run. Why is it not working? Uh. Okay, there we go. It could just be our internet. Um, before we talk about fonts, let's go back to one. Talk about the talk about the dollar trial. These are for all of you. This is for all of you guys who are out there just watching, who are like me, just watching and not saying anything. If you want to try out our membership, we are offering our membership for a dollar for you guys to try out for seven days. What you're gonna get unlimited access i mean no holds bar you are getting full access to our website you are getting access to our member only facebook group you are getting 20 download credits meaning it's only five cents a download i mean you can download 20 fonts and keep them for and keep them forever you can't beat it so just know if you want to recreate this card and you want these two fonts that we're going to be using just Click that link that says grab our membership for a dollar and you can download these fonts and still have 18 downloads. So, I mean, it's there for you guys. Um, so back to our share screen, we are getting, I'm going to show you how to download our fonts. So the first one we're doing is typeset. And I think I just misspelled that. I did. I forgot the E there. I forgot that one. Beautiful. This is the font that we are using on the front of our card. I love this font. I love a good typewriter font. It's, Me I too. mean, I just, I don't know. This is one of our newer ones. So we have Click Clack. Um, yes. And I had linked it originally in, on accident because we use it. But uh -huh. Typeset is a more like boho vibe to me. Yes. Like, I don't know if that uh, makes sense. So we have a couple different, um, we have a couple different typewriter fonts. I really like this one because it has clean lines. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We have one that has like ink spots kind of, yeah. which is great for PNGs, stickers, print and cut, <laughs> sublimation, things like that. But for this specific, um, for this specific project, typeset is a great font. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Um, to download, bless so you, sorry. bless you, to download one of our fonts, all you have to do is click this arrow pointing down, just like this. You can see, bless. Oh, uh, my allergies are picking up. I was about to say, are you allergic to me, girl? No, it's, I woke up like this because I played outside with the girls all day I and I was outside like all weekend. Yeah. Okay. The shrug. Um, okay. Beautiful. So it's downloaded here at the top. What you can do, what you need to do from there is double click that. It's going to open it up in your downloads. From there, you're going to double click it again, and then it will pop. Okay, I'm gonna say it will pop up like this. Not all computers are the same, so it's not going to look exactly like this. If you are working on a PC computer or a Windows computer, it's going to pop up and look completely different. So it pops up in what we like to call, and what they call the character map. Okay, so either way, whether it is your font book on your Mac, character map on your Windows computer, either way, you're going to install your font. Once your font is installed, and actually, we're going to go back and I'm going to show you the other one that we're going to use. After typeset, we're going to use extra guac. This is a, so there, we have two extra guac fonts. This one is your regular. We must use the sketch font. Now, you don't have to use extra guac sketch. Let me just show you. If you want to just type in sketch to see all of the different sketch fonts that we have, look, we have so many more sketch fonts. So what our sketch fonts are, it's kind of, it's a monoline font, meaning it doesn't give you the outline effect. So we'll go overhead. Typeset is just a regular font, but when you turn it into a pen function, it gives you the outline effect, which for this project is top tier, okay? We love this. Now, this is what a sketch font looks like. It just looks like handwriting. So that is the difference between a sketch font 
and a regular font when you are using a pen function. So that's why if you want it to look like handwriting, it must be a sketch font. So back in on our share screen, you can see we have so many different like Betsy is super cute mm -hmm. and would kind of go along with the typewriter font. We like to mix and match our fonts. So that's why we are going with extra guac today, but there's so many cute. Albuquerque is another one that I mm -hmm. love. Mary Catherine, there's, there's just lots of them. I love them. So once again, we'll just do a quick refresh to download a font, click the arrow pointing down. Once it is downloaded, double click that, open up your zip file, double click it again, install the font to your computer. Now, one thing that you must do, must, 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 if you are downloading new fonts, but still working in Design Space, we're gonna go back to Design Space. You must, first of all, save your project. This product is already saved, so it's not giving us the option to save again, but you must always save your project first. But for Design Space to recognize the new fonts that you have downloaded on your computer, you have to go to View and Reload. Now, years ago, we would just exit out of Design Space, reopen it back up. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is go to View and Reload. And then what it does is Design Space reloads everything and it recognizes all those new fonts that you have downloaded on your computer, okay? So now we are going to start building our card. All, the first thing that you must do when you are building a card is start with your base. So we like to go to our shapes. We are going to grab a square. I like grabbing the square with the sharp edges. Now, I feel like a lot of times people ask, well, why wouldn't you grab the rectangle? Okay, I could have grabbed the rectangle, but to see, if you look at it, it has the rounded edges. Rounded edges aren't bad. They're just, a, it's just one of those things. It's just a design preference. Right. So we are just starting out with our square and we are going to type in our dimensions. So let me move all of this out of the way so we can show you guys how to kind of determine how large your card needs to be. So if you want a four by five, so th and that's what this card is. This card is a four by five card. If you are designing in design space, you have to kind of realize that you have to double your length. Okay, so although you want it four inches this way, you have to double it so it has the back side. So back in design space, we are going to unlock our shape. Width-wise, we are going to type in double the size that you want your card. So if you want a six by eight, you would have to do a 12 by eight, eight. square, mm -hmm. okay? So you just have to double that width if you want like I said, we're doing a four by five. We have to double the width, so we have to do an eight by five. Because your height is gonna stay the same. Because back overhead, we're not folding this height. This height is gonna stay the same. We are just folding it down the middle to double it up, okay? So that's why we are doubling the width of the size card we need. Before we go any further, I do want to show you guys one thing on our website which is great for those who might be new. If you are on the website, if you go to your dashboard, which is gonna take it a few minutes to load, and you go to your resources, did you guys know that we have a resource for card references? Yes. Look at this. So Look you have it. your rectangle. It shows you if it's a rectangle or a square, okay? These are your standard size cards. This is the actual card size. This, what? Is that right? Card size, design size. 
I'm going to need to follow up on that. We're going to follow up on that. <laughs> JK, we will follow up on that. You need to be doubling the width. You need to be doubling your width. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to follow up on that, but we do have cricket card sizes. Yes. That will be fixed in, a, in, a, in, a, in about an hour. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and fix it right now while you're okay. while you're you, you go fix that. <laughs> you go fix that. I just, I personally have, like, I've looked at it before, but I've, like, didn't really pay attention to it. I feel like we set, that is not the correct finished version. Because, you know, when you create a design, sometimes yes. there's copies. Yes. I think we just uploaded the wrong, ver like, the unfinished version. Okay. So, I got you guys. We're going to get that fixed for you guys. <laughs> so, don't worry about that. So, what I like to do, first of all, is I like to start my base and put the color that I want. I'm switching it up. I'm doing it. Michaela said is the design size for the Cricut inserts. Maybe that's that what might it is. be. Y'all, let, yeah, let me. Get but it we in. also do need to have a. I feel like it would be great to have a, just a quick reference guide for the like, whole for the whole yeah, thing I if you're designing it in design space. If anything, we need to like add another little uh, column to let you guys know how big it needs to be. Yes. So. And that's an old reference guide. It is an old so. one, but we're going to get it fixed and we're going to get it updated. Yeah. So, back to design space. Lisa said, so I will reprint then. Yeah. Yeah, Lisa, we'll get it fixed for you so you can reprint. Um, we, oh yeah, the, the card, in, like the actual Cricut card inserts are a quarter of an inch smaller than the base. Yeah. So, that's so we that need is. to do just like a quick reference guide of if you want a four by five card, Here's what your dimensions and design space yes. need to be. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So back in design space, I like to put my base as the color I'm going to make it. This is just for me personally, so I can keep my colors correct on what I'm going to cut. Okay. So here is my base. Next thing that we need to do is grab, come back over here to shapes, and we need to grab a line. Okay. Now, this line is going to be what is scored straight down the middle. So because of that, your height needs to be the same as your card. If you guys remember, the height of our card is five inches. So I'm coming up here to where it says height and I'm just typing in five and hitting enter. Now, you can see this line is already a score line, but what we need to do is we need to select both of our base and the score line you see over here on our layers panel, they are both selected. Once they are both selected, we need to go to align and we need to center that. Okay, because we want that score line to go straight down the center of that card. With them both still selected, I want to come down here with right under our layers panel and I want to hit attach. Can anyone tell me what would happen if I didn't attach that line? The cricket wouldn't know where to score. The cricket wouldn't know where to score because the cricket doesn't know what it does, what we don't tell it to do. It doesn't know what it doesn't know what it doesn't know, right, Sadie? We gotta tell it. We have to tell our cricket what to do. So you have to attach it because we want our Cricut to know, I want that score line going right down the middle of my card. I don't want it on this side. I don't want it on that side. I want it right down the middle. So I'm going to paper clip that line to the middle of my card. Okay. That's what attaches. I want you to start thinking of attach as a paper clip. It just kind of paper clips it there. You can take that paper clip off if it messes up and put it back on once you fix it. It is not a permanent solution. It's just a little placeholder but it is great for keeping things together, okay? So once we have done that, this next thing that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite little tricks. With this card selected and our score line attached down the middle, I'm gonna come up here to offset. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Lauren, what are you doing with offset? Stick with me, stick with me. We're not going to do an offset. We're actually going to do what we call an inset. So from instead of the line, you see this blue line is on the outside of our card. We want it to go on the inside of our card. And I think your mind is going to be blown when you see what happens after you have attached a line or a score line down the middle of your card. So 
Now that we've done that, I'm going to do an inset. Are you guys seeing this first of all? This is the coolest hack ever. This is the coolest hack ever. Do you see how that score line separated those two in, like once we did an insert or an inset, that score line put it in two different categories. I love that. I am obsessed with that. Me too, it's one of my favorites. And now you have two pieces of paper that you can put on the inside and the outside that are both the exact same size. Yes. Now I also do want to change my corners from rounded to sharp just because that's what I want it to stay uniform across the board. So I am changing my corners here. This is rounded corners. This is sharp corners. And I actually am going to turn off the weld offsets. Up, up, up. Did you look at, did you, what? Do it, do it again. Watch. One thing, two things. Oh, One thing, two things. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So I thought that if I turned weld offsets that it would have one here and one there and I could move them separately. But if you turn it off, it becomes one. Turn it on, it's two separate. Okay, but so then you could technically duplicate. Or yeah, fly yeah. And so, so what we're gonna do is once that's done, we're just gonna apply. It is going to come in as black. We want to change that to white. Now, the reason that I did do, like I tried to do that weld is because you can see here, they are, it's still one image. So there's a couple different things that you can do. If you wanted to slice it, you can, or you can just come down here to contour, contour one side and then duplicate it. And now you have two inserts that are the exact same size. You can see here, one will go on the inside like this. And then this one will go on the outside on the, uh, like if we were to fold this pink piece of paper, it would go on the, like the back side of that. Okay. And y'all listen, if you're trying to make a design that goes proportional, like the border is proportional all the way around, don't just wing it and put like, I need the card to be the equal amounts all the way around, unless it has to do with your design and like your design doesn't look like that. Uh huh. But, um, I think using the offset and the inset are great ways to like make a proportional like offset. Yes. You don't want to just go in there and draw a square that where it's thicker on the top and thinner on the sides. Like right. It just doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as professional. This is a way to get it to truly look so professional. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we are going to zoom in because we're going to be working with a few different functions here and we are going to start building the front of our card. Okay, so this is where we're going to bring in our top set and we're going to start putting in our letters. So what I want to do is I want to bring in a text box. I'm going to bring it over here. We're going to our fonts. Now, if you guys didn't know, all of the fonts that you download on your computer is going to be found under your system fonts. Okay, so you need to go to your system fonts and what we're going to do is we're going to top in top set and there we go. Now, what we are going to do now is we're just going to start typing out our letters. So I'm going to turn my caps lock on because I want all of these to be uppercase letters and I'm just going to start typing a, uh, I turned caps lock on. Oh, there it is. A, B, O. Oh, did you put a space in between them or no? No. D, E. Beautiful. I don't think we need a space. Mm -mm. Sure. And honestly, honestly, with this type of layout with letters like this, you do have to play around. Like you may end up having to like ungroup to letters, ungroup to lines. You have to kind of piddle around with the sizing because you want all the letters to be the same size. And this will be the hardest part of this card. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Sometimes a basic design can end up being seeming a little bit more intricate when you start designing it. Um, just because everything has to fit perfectly on a simple design. Like there's right. no area for like loosey goosiness. Okay. So this is how we set it up. But before I go anywhere else, okay, I, before I do anything, so I, well, this is how we topped it out. And this is how, this is where we broke it up. A, B, C, D, E. You can see here, this is exactly how we broke it up. 
before we do anything else, you must, you must size it down to where all letters are going to fit on your card. Now, the reason that we're doing this first is because we want, like Alicia said, we want all of our letters to be the same size. So once we have sized it to where we know all letters are gonna fit within this square, our next step, and this can, guys, I really want you all to, um, don't be afraid of this next step, okay? Cause it's gonna, it's gonna look wild. It's gonna look wild at first, okay? Um, the next thing that I'm going to do, actually I'm going to go to line spacing. I'm going to bring my lines a little bit closer together and this is going to allow you to make your letters just a smidgen bigger, that's way too close, the V and the Q. So we're just gonna bring our lines together I'm gonna size it up just a little more because we have a little bit more room now to work with. Beautiful, so now our letters are just a little bit bigger. So now what we need to do is go to advanced. Now we're gonna ungroup to letters. Wow, looks crazy. Cray, cray. Absolutely crazy. Once again, let's not, we're not gonna worry about that because what I'm fixing to show you is I really think gonna blow your mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with my top line. So I have my A selected. What I wanna do is I'm using my keyboard. You do not want to use your mouse for this, okay? If you are doing other things, I need you to come back and pay attention because this is gonna be the most complicated part of this tutorial, okay? And I don't want you guys to get confused. So with our keyboard, I'm hitting the left arrow key and I'm going to, I actually like where the placement of the F is. So I'm gonna line that A up with that pretty close to that F. Okay, you see that? Now what I'm gonna do without touching anything else, I'm going to hit my E, oh, I just moved it, see? If you click on it, I'm actually gonna work from the layers panel. It's the best way. Work from the layers panel, mm -hmm. guys. I'm gonna click my E with my right arrow key. Once again, I kinda like where the K is. I might move it out just a little bit, but we're going to put our E where we want it. And now, here is where it all is gonna come together, okay? So our first line consists of A, B, C, D, and E. We have our starting point with our A, and our end point with our E. Now what we need to do is go to align and distribute horizontally. One of my favorite features of Design Space, I'll Absolutely say. one of I my mean, favorite features of Design Space. That's, that's crispy right it there. It makes it look phenomenal. I love it. Okay, so you, when you do distribute horizontally, okay, um, so Julie, oh, I've seen, let's, let's come to one because I want to address this. I've seen people talking about why not ungroup to lines first. People are saying you need to ungroup to lines and then move your letter spacing. You can do it that way. I just feel like this way I have so much more control over where everything is at. Mm -hmm. Um, that way I can distribute them equally. Okay. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm ungrouping everything to letters, working from my layers panel, distributing horizontally, and then we'll go back to design space with all of that first line still selected, okay? Still selected. We are going to go ahead and attach those, okay? So they've now moved up to the top and I can scroll back down and now we can start working on our second line. Um, Rhea made a good point. She's talking about you can hold the shift key and it will, it will, it should automatically keep your movement straight up and down or side to side, but that does not work in design space. That is like shortcut for like Illustrator. Uh -huh. I don't know that you can even do that in Canva, but like typically when I first started working in design space, I would hold my shift key down to move stuff because I would want it to move straight. 
So and you would hold the shift key and then with your mouse try to move it straight? And it sh in Illustrator, it would do it. So I was used to that, but it doesn't do it in Design Space. Okay. But it'd be cool if they could add that. Just saying, Cricut. So Just now there. what I'm doing is I'm working with the second line again. Remember, I said I liked the placement of the F, so I'm going to leave that. I am going to move my K out just a little bit to line up with my E a little bit more. So once again, I'm selecting all of these. And how I'm selecting those is I'm holding the Shift key down and clicking all of these, okay? So Shift key and click, okay? We are selecting them all. Once again, align, distribute horizontally. Done. I feel like it's still a little off. Maybe. Should I move the F out a little bit? Maybe a little bit. It takes some finagling a little bit. Now I'm going to do it one more time. Align, distribute horizontally. Didn't move it that much, but still. It looks a little better though in my it opinion. It does. It really does. Once again, coming down here, I'm going to attach that together, okay? Well, what, what would happen if you were to group those together? Well, we'll do it on the next one. Okay, because someone will... was asking, so I'm just want, I would like for you to show it. Right now, it's not really going to do, it shouldn't do much of anything. No. It's not going to look go any to different. The make, it wouldn't look any different right. until we went to the Make It screen. It wouldn't yeah. look any different right now until we go to the Make It, okay? So right now it's just, you can actually do attach or group because once we're done with everything, once we're done building, we're gonna pull it all together, okay? And then we're going to make, we're actually gonna combine it all together, okay? So third line, we're working with our L. I'm moving it to the left to line up with our A and our F. Then we'll go to our P move it to the right to line up with the other side of our card. Beautiful, and then we're going to select them all, starting with the L, holding my shift key down, selecting M, N, O, P, going to align, distribute horizontally, and attach. Done. Beauty. Beautimus. Beautimus. Okay. Guys, this is a rinse and repeat process, starting mm -hmm. with the Q. You're gonna move it out. And then we're gonna go to our U, move it out here as well. And then select all of these. Align, distribute horizontally. Love it. You know Canva has the uh, tidy up feature? It's like the same thing, but you can just select a bunch of things and it'll just automatically tidy it up. It just like will level it all out so it's spaced evenly. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Cool. It's basically the same thing. Now, you know what I was just thinking? It might be a little bit more complicated, but if you are a stickler, I'm going to actually come back through and detach all of these. If you are a stickler for and making sure everything is perfectly lined up, let me show you one little thing, what you can do. So if you want to make sure everything on the left side is perfectly um, aligned, what you can do, so we'll start, we've got Q. Now you will have to go through and look for all of these letters. So we need Q, we need V. We need L, let's find our L, here we go. We need F and we need the A. So we have all of these selected this way. You can go to align and align them all left and then do the same thing on the other side. So we need K, we need E, we need the P, U, and the, where's the P? Am I missing it? You got it selected? Uh, 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 it's up there. Oh, oh. I do have it selected. It's the Z. Z I need the yeah. Z. I need the Z. 
Where is Nikia the... said, yes, Lauren. That's exactly what my OCD was yelling. Okay. Well. I'm glad Lauren's doing this tutorial. I got you. <laughs> I got you, girl. I got you, girl. So now what we're doing is taking that, we can align that and align it right. Y'all, look at that. What's now, at? I've already noticed. I'm going to have to move. So this letter, it spaced my P out a little bit more. So I'm going to come back and do the L, M, N, O, P. And I'm going to align and distribute them. The O did not select. I, I, you went fast and I didn't have a chance to tell okay. you. L, M, N, O, P. There you go. Beautiful. Align. Distribute horizontally. It didn't move that much, but it moved enough for me to tell. Yeah. And then we'll just do the second line again real quick, which is Q, R, S, T, U. Align. Distribute horizontally. Once again, didn't move much. And then V, v W, X, Y, Z. Align. Distribute horizontally. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. It looks so good. And also, I need to have a public apology to Rhea because I just went into Design Space and I tried that little shift hack we were talking about, and it worked. Public apology. So, it didn't work previously for me, but uh, you can hold the shift key down and move your stuff like sh on an x-axis or y-axis like in a perfectly straight line which is really handy. You're just wanting to like bump something over a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now we have every single letter selected. What I want to do now is come here to combine and we are going to unite those together. Okay? So once they have been united, we are now going to change the, actually before we do anything, because I want to cut the high out as well. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'll probably just get of everything, get rid of everything but the high because I want it to be the same size. Um, so I'm going to put this down here for a minute. This united, okay? We're going to come up here to operations and change it from basic cut to pin, okay? Now, if you want to, you can change the pin color. Oh, it took it a minute. What's going on? There we go. If you want to, you can change the pin color to the turquoise to see how it would look. Beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing that you must do, because once again, Cricut doesn't know what it doesn't know. If I were to go to make it right now, this is gonna be completely separate. It's going to put it somewhere else but we want to go ahead and stick it. We want to make sure that it is on this part of the cutout. So we are selecting them both, attaching them together. Okay, beautiful. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm gonna do undo, you not. It's gonna bring all of our letters, but all I have to do is delete these out. I'm going to delete these out, delete our top three, Delete these, select our high. Once again, come down here, unite this, and now we can change the color to our yellow so that it cuts out and we can put it right on top of where that's gonna draw. So it stands yeah. out, it's, hi. Hi. Hi, love it. Have a good night. Okay, so we have built the front of our card. Y'all, I want you guys to raise your hand, give me a hand raise emoji, emoji if you learned something. Give me a hand raise emoji if you have learned something. Alicia said, I'm gonna hand raise my emoji because um, I'm Rhea, a hand <laughs> because, <laughs> because Rhea <laughs> taught us how to hold down the shift key and move it with she our mouse. Did. Yeah, so. Congr I mean, Please. listen, we are here to teach you guys, but we also learn just as much from you all. Like, Absolutely. You all call us the professionals. 
And yes, this is our job. This is what we do all the time. But mm -hmm. we learn just as much from you all. And this is why I absolutely love this community is because everyone is so uplifting, so supportive all the time, teaching each other. I mean, you really can't beat it. Right. You really can't beat it. Lots Look at all these hands. hands. Heck I'm yeah. loving it. I'm loving it. Dang. This right here makes my teacher heart sing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely makes my teacher heart sing. So... The last thing that we need to do is we are going to add in our sketch font on the inside so that we have a little sentiment for whoever we're giving the card to. So what we need to do is come in here, grab our text box. Now remember, we're not using the typeset font this time. We're going to use an actual sketch font. So come down here to your fonts, go into our system fonts. We are going to, once again, you can just type in, my favorite thing is just typing in the act like just the word sketch because it then pulls up all of the sketch fonts that we have that I have or that we have on the computer so we are going to use the extra guac I just think it is such a cute little font I love it um let's see what did you have on the inside you're my favorite um what do we want to say hmm, I like that you're my favorite what could I say that would be really cute that has something to do with the alphabet? Um, I don't know. If you all have any usually any you guys can come through for us. Hold on, give I me a I think it second. would be just super cute to have something like um, alphabet on you every single time. <laughs> <laughs> alphabet on you every single time. I like it. I'd alphabet on you. Every huh? single time. I, uh, I apostrophe D alphabet on you every single time. Okay. Odd alpha. Do I want to put alphabet on its own line? So it's like, you know what I'm and saying? And I want them all caps. Alphabet <laughs> on you. On you. Every time. Yeah. What was our other one we did? The bar, you're raising it. You're raising it. <laughs> Every time. I've got a way with words. What can I say? You do have a way with words. <laughs> oh, Donna oh. said, letters be best friend. Oh, that's, that's cute. cute. Thank you, Diane. Diane, you are literally so sweet. You all don't have to do that. Oh, you all no. don't have to do that. It's I so sweet. It. Okay, so once again, we have this. I kind of want, okay, I'm going to do something crazy. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to do something crazy. Yep, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do something real crazy. Oh, so Julie had a really good, she said put the bet in all caps and alphabet. I think what I want to do, this is just another, I'm, um, I don't know. What? I, I was, I, okay, I'm going to go to advanced. I'm okay. going to ungroup to lines. Oh, first of all, before I do anything, before I do anything. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm changing it from basic cut to pen. Number one, we're changing this from basic cut to pen. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to advanced, ungroup to lines. Bless. Wow. I'm changing alphabet from black to, where's the, my turquoise? turquoise and now I'm going to come back and select all of these and I'm even going to select my my offset and I'm just going to attach that all together because I want alphabet to be a different color yes. so I'm going to do I, all, all the other words in black and alphabet in the turquoise I think it's very cute I love it okay so now we're ready to make our card are you guys ready? Let's do it. Did we attach it? I did. I'm okay. going to hide these. Hide. Hi. You're getting hid. Hi. Hi. Bye. Okay. Here's our card. Here's what we're doing. Okay. Now we're going to go to make it. Thank you guys for blessing me. Bless, I feel, bless. I feel very blessed. Okay, so I am, now, it comes in really close together. I'm just going to move this over just a smidgen. 
Still popping in that 12 by 24. We're just gonna change it to 12 by 12 just because. Scooting that over just a smidgen. Who, are you kidding me? It's putting that on a 12 by 24? Come on, Cricket. Come on, Cricket. I know, we've got to change our settings. Not gonna do that right now because Listen, I don't wanna mess done anything it. up. We've done it. We have. Just but, updated. You know. Okay, so we're gonna start with this first, okay? And, or actually. Pink's already on there. Pink's already on the mat. We're gonna start here. So what we have to do, find our scoring stylus. I'm going to put my scoring stylus in clamp A before I start, okay? Beautiful. Taking my pink, it's already loaded on the mat, and I'm gonna go ahead and load this into our machine. I'm gonna go to continue in design space. We are using our Explore 3 today, and I am cutting this on medium cardstock default pressure. Yes. Yes, if I'd put just bet in blue, that would have been really cute. I just, that would have been a lot more like ungrouping to letters, yeah. all of that stuff. So I just think alphabet, just real quick, change just it. Just to add a little zhuzh. Okay. Um, do you have to change it from 12, 24 to 12 since nothing is at the bottom? Honestly, I don't really think you would have to change it. Mm -mm. I just change it because. <gasps> ah. Oh no. What in the world? There's new blades in the top drawer if you need one. No, it's like it just cut. I don't. It did that to MK the other day too. Just added a random slice. Yeah. Well, just. No, I think it got off. Like, I you, think it just got off. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's try this again. You got enough there? Oh, you got the whole pack. Yeah, I got the whole pack, but like, this is also big enough. I'm not gonna waste another sheet. So I'm just gonna put this on. See, this is, this is why I have trust issues. This is why I have trust issues. This should have not happened. This should not have happened. Mm -mm. We need also, if you're on Amazon, just go ahead and order a second brayer to keep in here, please. Oh, okay. Why we haven't yet, I don't know. There's no tailing. I think we have, I, we have had two brayers in this building at some point. Well, where are they? Lord knows. Literally, only God knows where the other brayer only is. Only God knows. Mm -hmm. Only God knows. Because okay. I sure don't. Here I go. Because it ain't here. It ain't. The last time we purchased one was April 28th of 2022. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Every time it's been a while, I'm singing Nickelback. Wait, is that Every Nickelback? Second. It's been a while since I've gone. I know. Hold on, let me go. No, 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 no. It's been a while. Uh-uh, 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 cricket, uh-uh. No, no, sir. Devil is not going to play with the church's money today. Um, That's a stained, <laughs> stained, that's a stained song. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, adding brayer to the Rachel cart. says trust issues with the sparkle emoji. <laughs> it's giving trust it's issues. It's giving trust issues. <laughs> okay, this one did it perfect. Thank goodness. Okay. So now we have our beautiful card with our score line down the middle that you all can't see. Cute. She's cute and she's gorgeous. gorgeous. Uh, I also, if you all are paper crafters and you don't have a bone folder, what are you doing? Bone folder with paper crafting is life. It's the ticket right there. It is the bee's knees and I just love it. So we have our beautiful, cute little card. Next, we will go to our white layer. Okay, so I'm gonna move all of this scrap out of the way. We're gonna add our white layer onto our mat. We'll do that crooked corner at the bottom. We don't need that kind of negativity. Mm -mm. Make sure this gets down really well on our mat. Is Nickelback from Canada? Angela says Nickelback. So sorry Canada gave you that. Are they from Canada? Mm. Listen. Everybody hates on Nickelback, but I, I, 
I, I stand. I mean, look at this phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you hate Nickelback, you're lying to yourself. I mean, a little bit. I feel like if someone says they hate Nickelback, they're like secretly listening to them. <laughs> Are you changing the station when they come on the radio? Uh -huh. If you're by yourself? No. Okay. So now it's telling us to load in our turquoise first, which I didn't do. It's there now, though. Look at that. That turquoise pen is in there. It told me that it was going to do turquoise first, and then it's going to do black. Okay. It's going to do turquoise, fine point blade, and then coming up, black. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> you definitely need to pay attention in design space if you're doing multiple color pens, which one is coming up first. Because if I would have loaded the black in, it would have been doing the letters in black instead of turquoise. Good point. Okay. So changing your colors is making sure you have the right color in at the right time is very, very important. Mm-hmm. I feel like this turquoise is a little darker than the original card. It might be. Oh, there it is. And y'all want to make sure to use a fresh, is it not the same color? It's a little darker, but it's still cute. Okay, okay. She's still cute, but she's not the same color for sure. Well. Or maybe she gets lighter. As I don't long know. as it complements the colors you're using. That's all that really yeah, matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. Um. So yeah, if you guys missed the beginning of the show, we still have spots left, very limited, to get the 50% off of our Canva course, the digital design for creatives. I keep calling it the Canva course because it is a course on Canva. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys are curious about how you could possibly use Canva when we use a Cricut, um, you all know design space can be a little bit glitchy and lots of people wanted to find another way to design outside of design space but could also still use their Cricut. So we're going to be teaching y'all that in the course. It is a 16 plus video course. We're going to have sublimation bonus courses in there, branding bonus courses in there for like our entrepreneur people. Uh -huh. So lots of good fun stuff. We're going to be teaching you the basics like I was saying earlier. It's for not only beginner crafters but advanced crafters as well as crafty entrepreneurs. So, lots it's of good for stuff. Everybody. Yeah, there really is something for everybody. And I am like super passionate about Canva. Like, I feel like I nerd out about it a little bit. I'll be watching like Canva videos at home by myself. Like, that's when you know it's real. So, oh, um, okay. Now oh, it's, it's telling me to load switch. the black, switch the pins. Okay. Taking that one out. Lowering. The felt tip ones are my favorite. I don't love the rolly ball gel pens as much as I like the felt tip. Yeah, I think I think this one was a felt tip, but somehow I ended up with a gel pen. Oh, is that a gel pen? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is fine. What does it look? Oh, it's still writing. It's yeah, still it's writing. still writing. Um, it's all good. Harmony said, I've never heard of that saying before watching you guys, but I love it. The devil ain't gonna play with the church's money today. <laughs> <laughs> we say that a lot over there. There are some things. That's like a Tannerism. I'm trying to think. That is for sure a Tanner. Um, says, mine is you. There a hundred ways to skin a cat. cat. And then mine is it do be like that. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> yep. Or she has a lot of them. His are like hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Or it's so 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 good. It's so so good. Love it, love it. We love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it's not the same color, and actually that the gel pen, it like messed up on the B a little bit, oh, but. Rude. rude. Rude, rude. Security, security. Security, that is some old YouTube. Is that, was that YouTube? Bonk, quick, quick. Yes. Yes. Uh, security. Okay, I'm just gonna come in here. Do y'all see this? Let me move everything out. Um, and actually, before I forget, don't forget Smart. to don't do don't forget to do this. I forget all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm actually just gonna come in here and try to like fix this a little bit. Did it run out of juice? I don't know. It was I don't know what it did. But like the lines aren't. What the F says gel pins that always have to write on something first to make sure they're primed and ready. That's a good 
That's a good tip. That's probably what happened because it looks like it was the A and the B and the rest of it is fine. Like after it got warmed up, it was ready to yeah. go. Yeah, it just needed to be primed. Yeah, that was a me pro That was my fault. That was not the pins or the Cricut's fault. That was 100% my fault. So I'm putting those back in there. We're going to take, do, do, do you see how much darker it is though? Oh yeah. It's yeah. okay though. It's okay. It's okay. We have so many Cricut gel pen or Cricut markers pens out there that but sometimes it do like be getting confusing. Turquoise. Out there. Yeah, we have like twelve. Mm -hmm. So there's that. It's still gonna look good. It is. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's cute. And now we're gonna go ahead. Now I'll be real honest with you guys. If I was making that for somebody, I would redo it. But it's still cute. It's okay for you guys. Just because I'm a color snob, both me, both myself and Alicia. We are. We are color snobs and I don't care to admit that. Yeah, it's a, it's a problem. You should see us when it comes to shades of green oh. and beige. Oh God. Shades of green and beige. I'm trying to think of what other, oh, the difference between lavender and lilac. <laughs> and periwinkle. And periwinkle. Lavender, lilac, and periwinkle. There's dusty blue. Slate blue, powder Sky blue, blue, powder blue. <laughs> They're There's, all different. Mm -hmm, they are. <laughs> now we're just cutting out the little high that's going to go on top. So while that is cutting, actually, let me, where's my mouse? Medium cardstock default pressure, play. In a minute. While that is cutting, I'm going to go ahead and put my foam squares on this and I will add it on, or I'm not going to add it onto here yet. I'm going to let that, I'm going to cut the high out first, but I'm just going to go ahead and start getting this ready. Can they see this, Sadie? Beautiful. I'm just adding it to the four corners to start out with. Now, I'm also going to add one right here in the middle because if you don't, it kind of sags a little bit. So I'm just gonna add another one just for a little bit more support there in the middle. Okay. And now I'm gonna take my little high. I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to get it off of the thing. And this is where I'm going to use the zig pen, whatever kind of um, art glue that you have. We're just gonna dot it on this little guy. He's tiny. Mm-hmm. Him so tiny. He's a little baby. A little babes. And we're just going to place it within. Sacred Space Craft says, I was never into paper crafts, then boot camp happened. Yeah, boot camp will do that to you, especially during craft month. But I love paper crafting. That is one I fell in love with that I didn't do. I, I've always done like crafting with paper, but not like Cricut paper crafting where you can like build 3D letters and make shaker cards. Like I'm literally obsessed with shaker cards. I try to make a shaker project all the time and like I get shut down because Lauren and Courtney are like, come on. I don't hate them. I just, I just love them. <laughs> they are very the time cards. consuming. I don't know. They're sparkly. They shake. Like, they shake. You can't, you can't <laughs> beat it. And my heart wants to make cake toppers all the time, all day long. That's what I would do with sequins in them, like shaker cake toppers. Like you don't even shake a cake. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even shake a cake. Why do they make shaker cake toppers? You don't even shake cakes. But I just love it. I don't care. I don't even care. Now I'm just gonna take my the backers off of these guys, like these. How many friends we have with us? We have two, uh, 208. Oh, wow. Wow. You know what I was thinking? Thank you guys for being here, by the way. Last week, we had like, randomly on a live stream last week, we had like over 500 people or around 500 people. And I was like, imagine, like we do this show super cash, like super casual. But if we were like at a venue and someone was like, there's about 500 people out there. I'd be like, <gasps> like I would be heavy breathing and sweating because it's different. Like all, I guess, cause it feels like y'all's eyes are on us right now. Yeah. But like, they're also not on us. Like we can't see your eyeballs. 
<laughs> you know, I guess like at a live event, it would be way more nerve wracking to me at least. Yeah. So now what I'm doing is I'm just adding some double sided adhesive because this part we do want to lay flat. This is going to be inside of the card. So we do want this part to lay flat. So I'm just adding some double sided adhesive to the back of our inside of our card. And we're just going to line this up. Mm -hmm. Lot Leanne's asking, she says she's color obsessed too. Where's the best place to buy individual papers? That isn't super expensive. You can purchase from Celebration Warehouse, which we've linked below. Um, that's our favorite, but it comes in little packages. Oh, it's done. Look how cute. That's adorable. I alphabet on you every time. Oh my gosh. I love it. Is it Valentine's Day around here? I mean, maybe. Maybe I'll just give it to Trey and say, here, I made you this. Here, I made you a card today. I made you a card today just because. Look how cute. I love them. And the colors are giving. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I love them. They're so cute. So uh, if, if you guys make your own, make sure to post it in a Facebook group. Um, and if you become a member today, then you will get access to the Facebook group. Absolutely. Um, so very exciting stuff. And we, uh, the community in the Facebook group is just next level. Like, it really is. It's so helpful, especially mm -hmm. if you're a new crafter. Like you can literally post anything and people are like, commenting like right we away. try to stay in the um we try to stay in the facebook group and answer questions mm -hmm. but our members beat us to it yes oh my like gosh. they they beat us to it yep every time so um lorraine said i wonder if cutting out the high the color of the card like where it could show through that might be cute That's that would idea. be cute yeah if you could do that post it i want to see um, so yeah, I guess, do y'all have any questions about the Canva course, about our dollar deal? We would love to answer any of those questions. You can drop them in the comments. Yep. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. 1 30 Eastern Standard. We are giving you guys an HTV weeding hack that is amazing. It's going to save so much. Oh my gosh. Especially for our friends that love intricate cuts mm -hmm. on HTV. Like mandalas. If you're a mandala girly or guy, that's just like you want to be there. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. Um, once again, if this is something you want to recreate or really any of the projects on our channel, if you want to recreate them using the exact files or fonts, whatever that we use, we are running our dollar deal special right now where you can join our um, amazing community of crafters for $1. What you're going to get is you're going to get unlimited access, full, complete access to our website. Now, let me be clear. Used to, we've had dollar deals for a while. Used mm -hmm. to, dollar deal members did not get complete access. Right. They could only kind of look around and get their twenty dollar or their twenty the download files. credits, um, but like didn't still didn't have like full access to the um, Master Your Cricut in Thirty Days. Mm -hmm. Didn't have full access. Didn't get added to the Facebook group. We thought, why not give even? Why not give everybody? Full access to everything. If you, you can see exactly so, you how it can would be. truly yeah. see what we offer and truly get a feel for our heart here at Makers Gonna Learn. Because all we want to do is see you all succeed mm -hmm. in your crafting journey. Yeah. Um. So we want to set you guys up for success. That's what we are here for. You all are the heart of our of our business. Right. Um, if it wasn't for you all, we wouldn't be here doing what we love every single day. Um, so that's why we give you full unlimited access for seven days. Now I do want to make it clear, if you do not cancel before the seven days is over, you will then become a monthly member. But y'all, even like monthly members, there's so many benefits to just becoming a monthly member. Yeah. From there, if you do decide to stay with us and stay a monthly member, or if you want to go yearly, either one, you get commercial use license to all of our files and fonts, meaning mm -hmm. you can sell your crafts. Now, in the seven day free trial, you don't necessarily have that commercial use license, but like I said, if you then become a monthly member, you do. And you can truly, you can make back the investment that you have already made in your machine just by selling a few things here and there to friends, family, things like that. Absolutely. I mean, me and Alicia just personally have made stuff for people and 
made so much money. Not not a, I won't say so much. We have made well, it, we made a good chunk last we year. We made it we made a pretty good little chunk just by selling to people that we knew. Yeah, we like did a sweatshirt launch randomly last year just and made randomly. Like, made almost a grand. Yeah. So I mean <laughs> like it's just for sure randomly. It is yeah. it is so doable for you all to make your investment back especially with that commercial use license. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. You really can't. So, I mean, um, hopefully you guys will be back for tomorrow's live stream and if you um, have any questions like after we're on uh, off of the live stream, you can email customer service hi at makersgonnalearn.com uh -huh. and they will answer everything that you guys need to know. So, yep. we will see y'all tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern Standard.